This program is brought to you by Emory University. The center in selective CH functionalization is going to revolutionize the way people are going to make molecules. It's going to be cleaner, it's going to be more effective, and it's going to access a whole range of compounds that were never available before. And what makes the center so cool and interesting, I think, is that we're starting to think about reactions that we never could have dreamed of before, and functionalizing a carbon-hydrogen bond in selective and specific ways will just enable all that much more really great chemistry and I think it will have impacts in material science, agriculture, pharmaceuticals and, and just basic science itself and so it's, it's really a unique center that brings all those elements together. Well I absolutely think it's going to change chemistry and pro probably most importantly from the standpoint that we have a number of people that come in with very diverse backgrounds and diverse ways of thinking about science and any time you ins infuse diversity into any problem or trying to achieve any goal, you come up with unique solutions. And I think these are solutions that are going to transcend not, a, not only the center, but the way in which we think about chemistry and science as a whole. Our science, I think, historically, um, we, we tend to be a lot of mom and pop shops. Everybody works on their own uh, individually and, and trying to overcome challenges on an individual basis um, within a group. We all have groups, but it's still an individual lab. Um, but this is really unique in that we're trying to, to s come up with challenges and, and overcome them um, as a collective unit, as a center, and, and hopefully do things as a center that no individual could ever do. Everybody thinks that's a good idea, getting together, but, but in practice, learning to um, talk to each other, immerse yourself in, in other people's uh, terminology and jargon, um, takes some time and effort, and there's a bit of a, you know, activation energy barrier for scientists to take this time and effort. And this center is really uh, a, a really great way to address that. And it's also going to develop a whole range of new young scientists who are growing up with that tradition of interdisciplinary research. So they will know how to do it starting out in their independent careers much better than we all did. So I think it's a, it's a really good model for how research ought to be conducted in the 21st century. I think that what we have the opportunity to do is to tremendously improve the way we make the kinds of materials that we make today in a manner that is much more efficient and green, but also to develop methodologies to make new materials where the current synthetic schemes would not allow us to put them together. And as a consequence, we cannot realize some of the exciting properties that we would like to see this center, I think, has the potential to give us new pathways into materials that will have very unique, new, and exciting properties. My personal involvement in the center is, is very much focused on developing reactions which might be able to change the way that uh, new pharmaceuticals are constructed, or also actually uh, dialing in and, and learning to speak the language of materials chemistry and thinking about uh, optical and electronically active materials which are important in all sorts of things from transistors, solar cells, um, flat screen TVs, and, and things that we use in everyday life, um, and, and making those, making different versions of those that could have totally different pro uh, properties so we're seeing the emergence of, of flexible screens and things like that and that's all based on um, organic molecules organic electronics and so using CH functionalization to actually make some of those uh, products that we use all the time and make a new and, and exciting versions of those. This center here gives an opportunity to take petroleum byproducts and turn these petroleum byproducts which happen to have a lot of carbon hydrogen bonds turn them into useful materials and so that's exactly, uh, to me, one of the, the pipe dreams that I could have ever imagined as a, as a child growing up, uh, ways in which we could take uh, uh, things that people might think of as waste and turn them into useful materials. By taking advantage of uh, a particular uh, type of bond in, in the material that people thought was useless uh, for a very long time, which is the carbon-hydrogen bond. Research problems, critical problems in chemistry, um, uh, you know, green chemistry, uh, the problem of glo global warming or just climate change even, uh, we need to do things differently in the future. Um, uh, they're all coming together, so education, research, and just say environment uh, and future uh, of the planet all come together to make us 
try to think of new ways to do things, new ways to get things done. The center allows us to really expand the scope of what we can imagine to do. And I think that that is the core of, for me, what makes this center very special. Hugh Davis is an unbelievable guy, gregarious, one of the most athletic people that you ever meet. You might not imagine that from looking at him, but he's unbelievable on the tennis court. And he's so good, actually, that he managed to hit himself with a tennis racket right over his eye. That's just how enthusiastic he is about the game. But hopefully next time he'll be able to hit the ball. <laughs> a black eye, well, you know, run, running a center like this is, is very demanding. We have, we have an incredible collection of professors here, and they expect the director to be a, a powerful personality. And so, uh, me with a black eye just, just gives me a better image to be able to control all of these professors at the same time. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.